Touches with, with those two guards. Garland finds Mitchell. Catch and shoot. He's got it. He's not. Man, DeMar DeRozan and Zach Levine shocked the NBA last year for that Chicago Bulls squad. They were probably the third best ticket you could buy in the NBA last season. I'll give you LeBron because he's LeBron and the Lakers. I'll give you Steph and the Warriors because he's Steph and, and the Warriors. Katie and Kyrie, they they had their their health concerns a lot uh, of their health concerns were once injured, then one's back, then the other's injured. So right in there between three and four is Tamar DeRose and Zach Levine and the Chicago Bulls. Not only were they great players, they also still are both guys that can fly above the rim. So you can get great dunks. You mix in Alex Caruso for the first half of the year. It was um quite the spectacle to see the Chicago Bulls live last season. Who's going to be that this year in the NBA? The 22-23 campaign is about to begin. And I got to thinking about the guard combinations or maybe guard and forward combinations. Who's going to shock the league with the, a 10-game winning streak or be able to start out 22-5? and five? Who's going to be that team that hits the NBA in the mouth? I came up with one guard combination that I think could do that. Cleveland Cavaliers made some noise this offseason. They went out and got a man. And he ain't just any man. Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland, to me, have the potential of being last year's Zach Levine and DeMar DeRozan. They're a lot younger than Zach and DeMar. They're really good. Their game seemingly will balance off of each other's well. Donovan Mitchell can attack. Darius Garland can shoot. We'll see if Donovan Mitchell can be good on the perimeter and if Darius Garland can attack enough. Can they do their other things really well to get that offense moving? I'm looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team. Everything's put in place for Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland to thrive. I mean, think about it. They got Jared Allen, who is a good, stable center. You're not going to get too much more stable than that. And then also Evan Mobley, who is emerging. I mean, this dude's going to be one of the best shot blockers we've seen in a long time. And he's got some game on offense as well. I think the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be the group that has that Chicago Bulls steam to them, at least in the regular season. Their nucleus is young. They're just going to beat a lot of teams because they're available more times than not, assuming all things go well. I'm trying to figure out where they fit in in the Eastern Conference. I don't think they're better than Milwaukee. The Tatum and Jalen Brown thing in Boston is interesting without M.A. Udoka coaching this, that team this year. The Brooklyn Nets thing all depends on health. They are a better team than Cleveland, but they got to be healthy to do that. And then we get back to the Chicago Bulls. Where will DeMar and Zach land year two together? There are a lot of really talented teams out east, but who's going to be able to put it together and win some games and not lose those games to the bottom feeders? Obviously, we got to respect what the Hawks did with adding DeJounte to that mix. I don't know. Y'all let me know. What is your duo that you believe is going to do some real damage together this year in the NBA and shock the league up a little bit?